Hello, Assalamualaikum. Hi everybody. Let's continue to our exercise in your workbook page 49. Let's do together. Okay, let's start with the exercise. Okay, this is your workbook page 49. You be ready with your workbook. Okay, let's look at the first question. Read the story again and answer the questions. So, kamu baca semula cerita tadi dan uh, jawab soalan di bawah. Let's look at the first uh, first question. Okay, what is state making? Okay, what is state making? Apakah yang Ted sedang lakukan? Okay, sedang dibuat ya. So, the answer is, he's making noodle soup. He's making noodle soup. Kenapa ganti he ni? He's making ni. Okay, he ni ialah kata ganti nama untuk Ted. Ted ialah boy. Jadi, the answer is, he's making. Kenapa he's? His ialah singkatan untuk he is. Okay, now let's look at the second uh, question. Has Faye got any onions? Has Faye got any onions? Look at the picture. Adakah Faye mempunyai bawang? Ada tak bawang dalam gambar ni? Ya, ada kan? Okay, soalannya has. Kemudian Faye. Kemudian uh, negative statement pula sebab tak ada uh, bawang tu. Jadi jawapannya mesti no, betul tak? Okay. Jawapan no untuk negative statement No, she hasn't No, she Sebab apa guna she? Sebab dia perempuan Hasn't Sebab soalan dia has Jadi guna hasn't Untuk negative statement Okay, let's look at the third question Who wins the competition? Siapa yang menang pertandingan tadi? Pertandingan mula-mula sekali Jawapannya take kan? So the answer is Ted wins the competition. Ted wins the competition. Okay, let's look at the next question. Is Faye happy? Is Faye happy? Adakah uh, Faye tu gembira? Adakah dia gembira? Okay, look at the picture. Kita nampak dah ni. Negatif ni macam tak suka je, tak gembira je kan? So, you have to choose the negative statement. Macam mana untuk negative statement untuk uh, soalan ni? Mesti no kan? So, the answer is no... She isn't. Sebab apa guna isn't? Sebab soalannya guna is. Kemudian she. Sebab apa guna she? Sebab kata ganti nama untuk Faye. Faye is a girl. Okay, let's look at the fifth question. Has. Okay, has Faye got milk and eggs? Has Faye got milk and eggs? Okay, look at the picture. Adakah Faye mempunyai susu dan juga telur? Nampak ada kan? Okay, kalau ada uh, positive statement, betul tak? Positive statement. Kalau positive statement, mesti guna yes. So, the answer is yes, she has. Yes, she has. As in, teacher dah gariskan has. Untuk positif, kita letak saja has. Yes, she has. Last one. Look at the last question. Okay, does Miss Tulip like face chocolate pancakes? Does Miss Tulip like pet face chocolate pancakes? Adakah mm, Miss Tulip tadi suka coklat uh, lempeng coklat Faye? Uh, ini untuk uh, gambar yang last kali. Dia suka nak, uh, tu tak? Uh, tengok gambar Faye ni, dia gembira. Kalau gembira maksudnya mesti lah uh, positive statement, betul tak? Kalau positive statement mesti guna yes depan dia. Okay, so, yes. She does. Kenapa ya she does cikgu? Kenapa bukannya ya she has ke apa? Sebab dia soalan dia menggunakan does. Okay, jadi kita ulang balik. Ya yeah, she does. Kenapa she cikgu? Sebab uh, Miss Tulip ialah perempuan. Jadi ya yeah, she does. Okay. Let's look at the next question. Do you like the story? Choose and color. Dia kata adakah kamu suka cerita tadi? Okay, disuruh kamu pilih dan warnakan. Okay, here we got three emojis. So, you have to choose only one emoji. Okay, I love the story. So, my answer is this emoji. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your exercise. Till we meet again. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.